Some of you guys are going to be in denial and say, oh, but it doesn't have a Snapdragon 865. It doesn't have a quad sheet display. That's why. Blah, blah, blah. What's going on, folks? It's your man, Jay. And I think it's safe to say that this phone is probably going to be a hit. And I'm going to go ahead and say now, you guys always say, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Do you recommend it? At this point in the game, I can tell you that I totally feel like I can recommend this phone to you. So I'm going to start with where you guys want me to start, which is battery. Now, I'm a little over uh, 24 hours, but I wanted to show you this now. 10 hours of screen on time, 43 hours off the charge, and 42% left. You just can't beat battery like that. And I have been heavily using this thing, man. I mean, the majority of my use is just from my Bible app uh, and, you know, then YouTube next or Chrome next. But ultimately, this phone, it's incredible. Um, I don't even know. And it still says I have over a day left. I, I don't know, man. Um, I'm just kind of surprised at how well this battery did. I was talking about whether it can beat the V60 or not. Now, here's why I think this phone is beating the V60 in battery. Uh, I think it's be solely because of the processor inside. Uh, the processor inside uh, definitely, definitely is helping this. It has a Snapdragon 665. Again, I will be doing a little bit of gaming for you guys just to show you that the processor can handle uh, uh, the everyday games that people play. Uh, but am I surprised that it actually still is 43%? I'm not going to lie. Yes, I'm surprised. Uh, I wasn't expecting 43% um, left or 42% left um, and 10 hours of screen on time. I mean, when you think about that, this is another device that, and I'm staying here for just a second because you guys have flooded me with, is the battery good? How do you think the battery is going to do? Every now and then, a phone comes along and it just shatters the battery thing here. Uh, I forgot the other phone that's normally not sold in the U.S., but somebody, someone kept commenting on this and, oh, I get 12 or 13 hours easily on my phone. Well, this phone right here is easily going to blow past 12 hours of screen on time probably into about 15 hours of screen on time i'm sure i can get another five hours of screen on time and remember i haven't charged this in 43 hours so that's incredible uh, I, I had to start this video off like this just to show you this phone is incredible with battery life so i'm 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 shocked uh, and it was hard for me to Put it together like whoa i didn't think it would do that good because and here's why i have other phones out there that have big batteries and 1080p displays or 720p displays and they don't get this kind of battery so this is this is going to come down to a few things some of you guys are going to be in denial and say oh but it doesn't have a snapdragon 865 it doesn't have a quad sheet display that's why blah 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 the fact is do you need those things even though we buy them we don't need them this phone is capable of handling everything you throw at it, pretty much. And that's what leads me to my next point, which is performance. Uh, performance on this thing has been nothing short of very good. Um, is it the snappiest? Probably not the snappiest, but it is a very snappy device. I mean, it flows. I'm just kind of going back and forth to the menu because really, there's no really way to show you that this phone is performing extremely well uh, for day to day tasks. It's just opening up things. Um, is, is it slowing down on me? Is it getting sluggish? Is it doing any of these things? And the answer is no. Now, in my first two to three hours of having the device, obviously, it's doing that initial setup. Um, and it's going to perform a little different. It's not going to be, you know, this powerhouse or, you know, right out the gate uh, with, with daily tasks. But, however, that quickly went away. And... I'm totally impressed with the performance of this device. So I said I can recommend this phone. I can. Here's what I tell you at this point. If you're on the fence about something not being able to be the way you want it to be, 
buy it while you can get it at a discounted price through Google Fi or any other retailer. You can get this for a hundred bucks, I believe, through Best Buy if you activate with Verizon. Um, or you can get it for 109 look on best buy's website to see their activation processes but i suggest that you go with someone like google fi because google fi has the unlock version too but it's nothing they want you to sign up for a deal with them google is month to month and i believe you do that with verizon or at&t those other carriers you're not activating prepaid i believe you're activating service because i think it's going to ask you for a credit check and all these other things google fi is the way to go folks and you get it for 100 200 bucks and you're gonna you won't probably end up sending this phone back when i see some people saying that they sent back certain phones i often wonder what what were they what were their expectations for the performance so i, I don't know I, I can sit here and lie to you and tell you that it's a trashy phone i've seen people already posting comments in my videos and other videos of this saying this is crap this is a crap phone those people don't have the phone so i don't I, their, their value of their comment is like pfft, it's not even it's non-existent um so performance is great. The screen is beautiful. So when it comes to the speakers, I mean, I can play them for you, but let me see if I can, I'm just going to put it up in front of the speak in front of the, um, in front of the microphone here and just play it for you here. Let's see if I can crank it up. Someone said that those speakers were muffled and over a YouTube video, this high power mic I got is probably going to pick up a lot of and make it possibly sound distorted. But this speak, these speakers are in no way muffled or distorted in any kind of way. There are some people out there that had this phone already long before it launched in the US. You got the Moto G8 power and you got the Moto G, G power. Someone asked, what's the difference? Well, the Moto G8 power has another camera and four cameras, but it's pretty much the same device. And the headphone jack is on the top and not the bottom. Very similar devices. You know, Motorola releases, you know, like companies release phones in different markets just for whatever reason. I don't know. To me, that's a waste of time. You just release the same device in all the markets, but that's just me. Uh, but um, the speakers on here and the screen are absolutely gorgeous, folks. You should not have a problem with this phone for that. It has a 6.4 inch display, stereo speakers. Now you consider some of the other phones that you have in your catalog that has stereo speakers. You know what? I'm gonna do a quick sound test right here. Now I just played the Motorola. Now I'm gonna fire up my um, S20 Plus real quick and play that same clip. And I'll probably do it again real quick, just for reference. Now here is the S20 Plus. And I'm gonna crank that. I'm gonna hold the G8 over here so you know that I'm not scamming you because the mic's kind of under the camera. So here we go. Now I'm gonna hold the G, the S20 over here. I'm gonna play the G8 again. Crank it up. Uh oh. Let's kind of start that over here if I can get it at the, at the peak at the beginning with the volume all the way up. So yeah, it, it appears that the S20 Plus is a little bit louder, but is it a thousand dollars louder? You see what I'm saying? So you you determine that the, the S20 Plus is louder, but that doesn't mean it sounds better. Or that is you know, there's a whole bunch of goes in that. Now, if you were listening to these in person, you would say, man, the 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 G, the G Power has more tone to it, and that's what I would tell you. I don't know if the microphone picked that up, but the G the G power sounds lower and the high frequencies aren't there, but the tone sounds better on the G power than the S20 plus. The S20 plus is clearly louder, more tinny. It, you know, it's it's hard to come across on video what I'm trying to 
uh, convey to you, but all I can tell you is that you won't be disappointed with these speakers. You just won't, folks. And I got to move on. I got to move on. So overall, daily tasks, daily use. I don't want to make this a very long video, but daily tasks. You guys wanted to know about the battery, which is why I spent a little bit of time there. Uh, the speakers on this thing are fantastic. Some commented saying, oh, they sound bad. The cameras. I posted a video review of the cameras. Now, the cameras, when I'm, I had it in this same spot right here, and, you know, the cameras aren't bad. It's just that the front camera isn't what I thought it was going to be, which isn't bad. It's just... I have to get this perfect lighting almost to get it to look close to what the rear camera looks like. Someone said, well, why does the rear camera look completely dark, uh, brighter in different setting or uh, looks different than the front camera? I don't know. I didn't put these cameras here. I didn't put this phone together. So, um, but what I can tell you is that um, I think if you're looking for a good set of cameras, you've got them right here. They're not bad. Uh, you create the moment yourself for whatever you think is a good photo or a good video. Now, I am personally love the photos that are coming out of this thing man i've been sending out things um i put out some stuff uh, on on the instagram already the moto g power is a phone that specifically has an audience it's a person that doesn't want to spend a lot of money will say nice screen good cameras huge battery crazy speakers headphone jack i could go i can just keep going on and on and then the main kicker here is battery. It's your man Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in the next video. Take care.